In this lesson of this quick start tutorial in V-Ray for Cinema 4D, we will cover lighting exteriors in two parts. If you have followed the previous lesson on how to lighting interiors, following this exercise should be really easy. You can download the scene from the link below and follow along. Let's start by setting up the correct camera view using a V-Ray physical camera from the V-Ray drop down menu. By clicking this little white icon beside the camera, we will be instantly looking through the lens of the camera. And I will lock the camera using a protection tag from the Cinema 4D Tags menu. I will move the camera to the bottom of the hierarchy to keep my file organized. Next, I will use a V-Ray Sun to light up the scene from the V-Ray drop-down menu. V-Ray will automatically assign a target to the Sun in order to better control the light direction. I will move the sun and the target to the bottom of the scene to keep a clean file hierarchy. The sun and the sky in V-Ray are a system that work together. If you move the sun up and down, the sky color and the light intensity will change accordingly. I will now switch on V-Ray and the V-Ray frame buffer in the render settings and do a test render. The image looks good, but I would like the sun to be lighting more the front of the building and the shadows to be a little bit more vertical and softer. I will move the sun in this direction and upward and change the size multiplier to 4 in the sunlight properties to allow for softer shadows. So let's test render one more time. The image is now perfectly lit. Now that we have created a basic rendering, let's play with the sun settings and let's tune the light to achieve the look that we are after. I will lower the sun and positioning right about there and with the light tag selected, I will change the filter color to a light blue. If I render this, it will help selling the idea of an early morning light. Let's make another test and let's tweak the turbidity parameter to 8 and change the filter to a bright and warm yellow, almost orange. As you can see, it is very fast and simple to change the look of your image just with a few clicks. Notice that in any case, we did not have to change any camera parameters and this is because V-Ray is optimized to handle most situations out of the box. The only thing left to do to add even more realism is to visually separate the building from the foreground by adding some depth of field to the image by lowering the f-stop parameter in the physical camera. Let's stop the render and let's change in the camera parameters the f-stop value to 4. This will require for us to change the shutter speed value to 600 to compensate for the brightness. In the top view, with the camera selected, I will move the focal point to the front of the building. Then I will switch on the depth of field option in the sampling tab of the camera parameters and change the subdivision value to 60. The image now looks great. Let's use the correction controls in the V-Ray frame buffer to bring back some of the overexposed details, lowering the highlight burn and let's adjust the contrast. Let's use the curves adjustment to change the look of the image. I will then use the saturation control to dim the bright colors. In the next part, I will show you how to render the same image using a dome light and an HDRI image instead. In this part of this V-Ray for Cinema 4D tutorial, we will cover how to light up an exterior day scene using an HDRI image inside of a dome light. We will start from where we left off from the previous exercise. You can download the same scene in the link below in the video description. Let's deactivate the sunlight completely and let's add the V-Ray area dome light from the drop down menu. I will drag dome light to the bottom of this list to keep a clean hierarchy. In the area light options, I will turn on spherical dome option as well as use texture. In the texture slot, I will add a V-Ray advanced bitmap. Click the V-Ray icon and then navigate to the texture day.hdr included with the file. Since I've tuned the values of the camera to work with the V-Ray sun like shown in the previous exercise, I can assume that the camera values are correct. 
I will then just focus on changing the light intensity value of the dome light if it's needed. With the light selected, I will click on the dome light texture viewer from the workflow tab of V-Ray, click on preview texture and adjust the exposure and resolution to fit your needs. This way you will be able to see in which direction the sun is pointing. In this case, I will leave the rotation of the dome as default. Now I can close the dome light texture viewer and test render. The image is very dark. I will change the intensity multiplier to 25 and render again. The advantage of using an HDRI light is that it can provide you with a rich and more realistic light information for your scene. In this case, as you can see from the image, this HDR image was shot in the evening around golden hour. We can test other moods by using different HDR images. This next one, for example, has some clouds in it. Let's render and see what happens. The light is good, but the sky, as you can see, might be a little bit too dark. Let's change the gain value inside the bitmap buffer to something like 1.5. I will also remove any vignetting by turning the vignetting value to zero in the camera parameters. The image is now perfect. I will click on activate exposure control, raise the contrast, lower the highlight burn, I will change the value of the curves and lower the saturation. In the end, I will slightly change the exposure. In the next tutorial, we will cover lighting the same scene at night.